Hi friends, if you are watching this video, you can see solid design principles and open close principles. We can see a short demo. The solid design principles are the group of object oriented design principles. The solid design principles are the group of solid design principles. The solid design principles are the group of clean code. In the open close principle, I introduce Panavaru Bertrand Mayer. In the open close principle, I know that you can support a new feature in a software. New code is the same as the existing code. That is a good practice. In the slide, I know that you can use a code in the left hand side. In the left hand side, I know that you can use a code in the right hand side. In the right hand side, I know that you can use a code in the right hand side. In the right hand side, I know that you can use a code in the right hand side. In the section, I know that you can calculate the total price in the product. Existing electronic device, food, car, and total price. So, what are you saying? So, you can calculate the price of the toy. So, if you support the toy, we open the existing code and open it. We implement it. If you support the new feature, we modify the existing code. We say this is a great practice. We say this is a open close principle. So, where are you looking at the new feature? We modify the existing code and add the new feature. This is a good practice. Now, one thing is, why do you modify existing code and new feature to the new feature? If you look at the benefit, we will release the existing code. If you look at the customer, you will release the belt-tested existing code. If you look at the new feature, the customer will modify the belt-tested existing code. If you look at the existing code, there are many issues that come to the client. If you look at the new feature, you will break the code in a separate code. This is the open-close principle. Now, what do you think about the open-close principle? If you look at the open-close principle, you will modify the existing code and new feature. If you modify any new feature, you can modify the application's design. In the open-close principle, you can use Java interfaces to implement the open-close principle. In the open-close principle, you can use two sections. One is without open-close principle, and the other is with open-close principle. Now, we can see the code section. 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 Now, we can see the new feature support. Now, we can see the existing code. Now, we can see the toy and product support. Now, we can see the existing code. 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 Now, we can see the existing open close principle is saying. If you add this, what will happen? We affect the current feature. This is why there are current feature issues. We have already released the customer code. We have already released the code. That's why this is a bad practice. If you use the open close principle, we can modify the existing code. We can support the new feature. We can touch the new code. So, what is the benefit? We can test the new feature as an independent feature. We can impact the well-tested code as a customer release. So, we can do a new release of the new feature. We can support the new feature as an independent feature. As I said, we can use open close principle in the interface and abstract class. So, this is the benefit of the open close principle. Thank you! Thank you!